Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Twinner. As the pandemic year is closing out, some students have one last thing to remember it by. Some received the second dose of the COVID vaccine last week. CTV's Nathan Kerr talked with someone who took advantage of the clinic to see why they chose to do so. Well, this year has had more than enough changes. We're getting to a point where hope for next year being more normal is high. One of the things driving that is more and more people electing get to get their vaccine, and that even includes students. I feel like I'm able to go do a little bit more than I was able to because it's less of a worry that I'm going to get it and actually be put in the hospital. If I do get it, it's going to be more of just at home, a common cold. At first, I was a little hesitant because everyone has different opinions on it, and I kept on hearing those different opinions. But overall, I realized that was my choice. So. The district provided students at Chrisman a chance to be given their first dose on April 30th and their second shot last Friday. Some students were already vaccinated elsewhere, but about 80 students received it here. While the vaccine might seem intimidating, medical officials offer reassurance that it's rare to have any serious reaction to the vaccine. The biggest thing I think for us, for myself and Emily, is that this vaccine does not give you COVID, right? Uh, does not give you COVID. It will maybe give you some symptoms of COVID, and that's because your immune system is trying to read that message that's coming through with the vaccine. And so when it does that, it may give you some COVID-like symptoms. So, you know, a headache or a sore throat or a fever, something like that. And also that COVID vaccines do not change your DNA, right? That's not, that's not how they were made and that's not what they do. Students who received their vaccine at Christmas say that the process was very simple. It was actually a lot like, more simpler, like, you know, sit down, take the shot, sat down, waited. I mean, it wasn't all that bad. Yeah. It was just like going to the doctor and getting a normal shot. While these students encourage others to get the vaccine, they understand that it's a choice best left to the individual. I would recommend getting it. It's going to make life a lot easier for the rest of us, but again, it's up to each student on their own. Yeah, I would recommend it just because, you know, it could help, but at the same time, can't change no one's point of view. They're going to think something at the end of the day, and I can't change that. If you missed the chance to get the vaccine here at Christman, there are plenty of other opportunities in and around Independence. The easiest way is to get on the Jackson County Health Department website and look at their calendar. They have what, they have tons of uh, vaccine clinics everywhere. Reporting for CTV for the last time this year, I'm Nathan Kerr. While some of the students received their second dose last week, others could get it for the first time. Those students will receive their second shot June 15th at Truman or Bridger. Students not attending summer school should go to the clinic at Truman.